All right, 41. We have about an hour and 20 minutes to do the things we need to do. Put Kim to bed. Do our thing. So, let's attend to them in order of priority then, shall we? Hey. Hey, buddy. Hi again, Gendarm. Admiring the atmosphere. What about you, officer? I live here. My room is right upstairs. Not anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sing karaoke. Really? Well, I look forward to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye, gendarme. Nothing new. Gart? Can I help you? <laughs> oh, Gart, I found a new bird for the rolling. Okay, hold on. I need to... I need to... Mouse? No, you don't. It's not happening. I need to sing. Why? We need to approach this situation logically. Ask him why he has the PA system installed if you can't use it. <laughs> yeah, but Johnny Law is about to tear it up sad's time. Wait, what the fu- Okay, alright. Uh, not not now. Wait for daytime. Wait for people. Someone was was pri pre prior to this uh, screaming about don't let Kim go alone before you do the singing thing. So it's like, oh well, if we have a couple seconds of a window left, yeah. then we might as well do it now. But mm -hmm. if that's not the case, then I, I what do you want me to tell you? Oh, cause there's nobody else in the crowd, I guess. Okay, well person with things was like uh, don't send Kim away before you do it. Make mm. sure to not do that. So, Alright. Fine. I did save it right before walking in. Getting pulled uh, in every direction right now. I Well, I just I just want to see this the karaoke scene since it's being hyped up so much. It sounds like it's going to be pretty funny. Yeah. But, uh... There, there are circumstances, then, I suppose. Can I help you? Here's the bird. What is this thing? <laughs> the man takes a stuffed bird. No biggie, just thought you'd look nice on the wall. I'm that kind of cop. This is the ruffed grouse. It symbolizes the might of male courtship rituals. May it serve as a reminder, you know, to keep an eye on the cock carousel, yays. <laughs> Option three. Bird up. Put a bird on it. <laughs> what? The interior decorating kind? You know, I'm sorry. This is actually a nice bird. A competent piece of taxidermy. I can fix it to the plaque and have a new bird in the establishment, I guess. Hey. So, I don't know. Thank you. I'm gonna go with thank you. You're welcome. I feel good about our work here today. It's all about the little things, like bringing oh. people random stuffed animals. That we stole from a child's house. <laughs> well, she gave it, but, you know, she didn't really know. It's not actually about that, but he liked it. Excellent. All right. Can we tell him that we're done? Yeah, I hope so. Got the 20 real? No. Then why are you wasting my time? You know what? The hell with you. All right. We burned it up. Uh, it's empty. What's on your mind? If we go upstairs, Kim's probably going to depart. But we want to talk to Klausia alone anyways. Uh, and the Kuno bit. So now let's do this. Oh, Classier might be gone because it's too late. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't tell. Yeah, look, she's gone. Okay, there we go. Fair enough. All right, so we got the hangman. Man is decomposing visibly now. Every hour, 
he looks less like a creature, Ugh. More like a pile of intestines. Man. Okay, well. That's a biological hazard. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll have to wait for tomorrow night for class here. Yeah. Which means not End getting caught up in the, um, you know. The, the crazy life. The life, exactly. <laughs> but what, but the, the question is, is what time does she leave, though? You know, we need to go find out if, we, if she can tell us when she goes to bed. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and takes a deep breath. Mm, let's bag him. Take him away. Yeah. All right. He takes out a shiny black body bag and starts pulling the plastic cover over the dead man's face. Yes. For anyone who might not remember from some time ago, uh, we didn't want to send Kim away while having these conversations with all the people in the second town that we just met because there's a lot of context missing there, so it would have sucked to send the body off and then do all of that alone. So we did, uh, we kept Kim with us for all that. I will need a little help carrying him. You take the hands, I'll take the legs. Okay. Bag the corpse and drag it to the motor carriage. Ugh. Kim must be happy to do this at 1 a.m. Man. <laughs> He's like, I'm usually at bed at 10. All right, we got a skill point out of that. We have our thoughts internalized. We could start learning. Contact Mike. <laughs> One more door. Or uh, anything else, really. Yeah, if that helps the body, that would be cool. 15 if we, minutes only. If too. we got stronger off of contact, Mike. All right, so we would have to take off... Uh, it was volumetric shit compressor. That's no longer helping us. Because we capitalized on endurance going past four. And we capitalized on... Um, the checks being unlocked. And then homosexual underground is the other one that's not currently yeah. doing anything. All right. True. All right. So, let's take this off. Yes. Scary prompt. Contact Mike. There we go. All right. Wait. Oh, we had another level. Wow. Oh, we had two. Oh, shit. Fair enough. Oh, I guess we leveled up recently. Uh, and then... Uh, one more door, maybe? I don't know. Doesn't sound that interesting. The result might be, like, something cool every time we open a door, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, real for every door. I mean, that'd be nice, but I doubt it. Okay, motor carriage is gone. Now... First things first, where's the child? Oh boy. Finally. Holding up your end of the bargain. I mean, maybe. A deal is a deal, Willie. Empathy, where are you at? Three. A uh, clipboard. Yes. What else? Hmm. Well, we already got past the empathy with him, so we don't need it anymore. We, we, we got the check out of it. Yeah, just give him what's his. Give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Kuno's like <laughs> Kuno's dad. Is he? Kuno doesn't <laughs> give a fuck about anything. Anything, damn. <sighs> All right. I took care of the drug situation. All right. So you got Kuno's kilo. Here is how we do it. First, give Kuno Kuno's kilo. Ugh. Then Kuno gives you half Give back. him the drugs, Wooly. Ugh. Give him the That's drugs. How we split it. It's the best way. Is that the, way. Is that the ultra lib answer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are we going to get money for doing it this way? For giving the child the drugs? By kilo, you mean gram, right? All right, fair is fair. Give Kuno the Viao. I'm keeping Kuno. it. 
You don't need more drugs. You're 12. Don't give it to Kuno. I'm keeping it. and I'm doing it all myself. Don't now, here's what's Kuno. fucked up. If you pick four, is this literally going to be considered a moralism choice? <laughs> is it moralist to give a child to not decide to give a child the drugs? Kuno knows what Kuno means. Kuno means Graham. Oh, boy. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. Do we piss him off? Come on. We might need to... We might need to keep the drugs for, for better trades down the line. Give it to him. I <laughs> Dude! I'm not giving Kuno drugs. Oh my god! I'm not giving Kuno drugs, alright? <laughs> alright. Well, I mean, this I might... He stabs you. This might be bad, dude. <laughs> what is... Let me read the tip on... Let me read the... Let me read the... 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 The task. Yeah? On Tuesday. To hear... Yeah, to hear right. what they say. Tuesday. There's... There's... there's. It's one thing to be... Uh, anyways. Yes. Boring cop. Not ruining the child. <laughs> uh... Tuesday. Tuesday. Let's put a kilo. So, right, you're supposed to cement your friendship. Enter with flat him. twelve. Get the Kuno speed. Sharing it with him will cement your friendship, and who knows what secrets it will lead to. Get speed from Kuno's apartment. Take down Kuno's dad. Report back to Kuno. Well, the game is telling us it will lead to secrets. So I suppose if it will lead to secrets, we will split the kilo with Kuno. <laughs> right? Friendships. Secrets. 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 Stress, you know? Everything is good. And if you don't give it to him, he's going to need to go somewhere else. Maybe do some shady that's, things to get his that's, speed. Now, now you're talking sense. Okay? Now when, you know. you, <laughs> when you don't go to the methadone clinic... They gotta go somewhere else. Exactly. And who knows what that shit's cut They're with. in danger. You're the safest bet for Safe him Safe right injection now. sites. Right. I know this is not the best, but... Okay. Uh. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're selling me on this. Thank you. You're pilling me on this. <laughs> fair is fair. <laughs> you're speed pilling me. <laughs> wow, that's heavy. He waves the minuscule bottle around and slips it into his coat pocket. There you go. More than half in there. Kuno's fucking honorable like that. Out comes another similar vial from the sock above his running shoe. Here you go. More than half. <laughs> what is in there, Kuno? That's not how you split something. You don't split it by giving me something else. And calling it half. Oh, my God. Now tell me. How the fuck are you still alive, pig? Looked around in there. It's not easy. Life uh, you got going on in that apartment. Kuno, I met your dad. Tons of unpaid you paid utility bills. Okay, let's conclude this business. Met your dad, Kuno. I met Uno. Yeah, you do some sambo shit, sneak in. Was the Beano Cloud hooker thing real? Uh, It was dark in there. We sneaked in and got out. It was what you said. Kim dressed up as a hooker, full drag. Distracted him. <laughs> Kuno, your dad is a half-dead alcoholic. He was sleeping under some clothes. I killed your dad, Kuno. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's something. Well, he can verify this very easily. I kind of want to know what he would say, I, though. Uh, well, Kim isn't here. We saved, right? <laughs> we saved right before talking to him, right? I hope so. Let me confirm, because I legit want to know. Yeah. yeah. Right before walking up. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I killed your dad, Kuno. <laughs> what is this shit? He's fucked up on roids to drink more. You can't kill him. Kuno's dad says he'll die by his own hand. Die suicide style. Fair enough. He oh just rejects it all wrong entirely. All right. He's a half-dead alcoholic sleeping under some clothes. Wah! His eyes become large and round. Fuck right. Kuno's dad was sleeping like a bum. Kuno told you. 
Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about anything. Fucking breaking and entering shit. That's nothing to Kuno's dad. Damn. Wow, the ultimate in not giving a shit. What an what a role model, right? If anything, be a, a be a non dead corpse. Then you really don't give a yeah. shit. You got lucky, pig. Kuno knew this. Kuno's fucking violent fiend dad's been drinking hard lately. Kuno knew you have a way in. Narrow window. Kuno window. Fuck, that's clearly bad parenting. Like, he wants to be like his father in a way. He's fucking himself up. Bad parenting? No. <laughs> Kuno window. Kuno window? Come on, kid, just stop. Stop acting tough, kid. You don't have to be scared of him anymore. Whatever scary thing he might have been, now he has nothing. Yeah, I was wrong. He's hardcore. A real killer. No, do not glorify this silly man. Whatever scary thing he might have been, now he's nothing. Yeah, Kuno's dad is fucking nothing. Fucking coma shit, stroke shit. Kuno's dad is so fucking violent. He's had a stroke many times. Shit. Oh. Kuno's gonna have one too gonna be just like kuno's dad speed shit crime shit fucking on the bed kuno's gonna go out like kuno's dad revishol west style no oh man stop saying all this sad shit kuno the whisper comes smaller than usual the fuck are you talking sad <laughs> kuno's got hard shit dead shit nothing shit he punches the air even kuno s is not about that you don't have to turn into that. Chances are you are going to turn into that. Say nothing. You don't have to. Maybe. Do we have a little in right here? Maybe. He might hate this, but... Get your fucking nun ass out of here before Kuno books it dead. Yeah. Fair you enough. You think because you brought Kuno one glass yeah. feed your no. friends now? No. I know. I know. How crazy of me to think. Mm-hmm. You're like, okay, let's play it hard, let's play it hard, and when do we go left? So maybe I, I, yeah. thought, I thought. Turn into... Kuno ain't turning into shit. Kuno is... Kuno is that shit. He pants from exhaustion. Kuno won! Oh, you won, Kuno! Well, the relief is palpable. The little hat jumps up and down behind the fence. He did not win. There is a crack in there now, and it's spreading across the face of his certainty. Looked around. Not an easy life you got going on. The fuck do you know about Kuno's life? Kuno's got plans. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, let's be real. There's no happy ending here. So it's just how deep into this conversation do we go? If you can put the seed inside the seed inside the seed of the Inception moment for something better, then maybe that's good oh. enough. Yeah, we got plans. Six meters underground. Below piping from before the war, the collapsed remains of the Martinez storm drain system. There are two stolen flashlights with piles of batteries next to them, beside two bedrolls, in the dark and opening into the lower tunnels. Bills? Fuck right there were. Fucking three years or some shit. You can guess. Let me guess. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about them. There's no place to live in. You have to find somewhere else. Find a job. Pay them yourself. Your dad can't handle things anymore. <laughs> yes, find a job, child. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about that electricity and light shit. Just wants to pound on people and drink. <sighs> Work, child. <laughs> Work. <laughs> Kuno's gonna move underground. Let I am shit. Ancient shit. Kuno's gonna live in a fucking catacomb. Yeah, in a tomb, Kuno. The little one seems overjoyed at the prospect. Fuck right. You can guess. That's right. It's a shithole. Kuno's gonna move underground. Let I am shit. Ancient shit. Yeah, in a tomb, Kuno. All right. Yeah, pig. This shit is done. Now get the fuck out of Kuno's face. Kuno needs to drop the bomb. I guess we're done. All right, Kuno. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Oh, my God. To the end of time. Oh, Kuno. For all of infinity. 
Kuno does not fucking care. And I guess that's Kuno. Um. Rank 10. <laughs> Kuno will now take a mortal blow. He will jump in front of a hit for you. He'll occasionally give you an assist. All of that shit. Yep. You've now unlocked... Mara. Uh... Okay. Uh, Wifey is probably... Back inside, doing normal hours. Yes, yes. Alright. Uh, we already talked to Joyce by ourselves last night. Correct? Yes. So then is there the something more to tell her? No, we need to speak. We spoke to her about Eva already. Yeah, alone. And so there's no, there's no, there's no other alone Joyce conversation to have. We need to show her the badge. Did we show her the badge already? Did we? I don't know. Did we? Uh, I don't remember that task, but let's go find out. Or do that with Kim. Alright, let's just take a look. I don't know who the fuck the pale driver is, people. Sure, it's info on the lynching on Monday. Alright. Uh, Sing karaoke. We'll do that tomorrow morning. We'll put the clothes in the trash. Find this person. Secret passages. Joyce's info on the lynching. Yeah, just have to present her with your badge to hear it. There's something she wants to tell you. Alright, we'll do, do this with Kim. Alright, okay. so then no Joyce. So then, uh, I guess we're going to um, just go talk to the two ladies alone then. Those are the only solo tasks left besides Kuno. Kidok. Universe is saying there's a lead. Yeah, yeah, they're telling me about people I haven't spoken to yet. Okay. Let's see how quick travel works here. Ooh. Uh, do we click on the map to go where we want to go? No? Hmm. Mm. Maybe not. But how how does fast travel work then? Hmm, weird. Quick travel, you have to be standing, standing in near the, the car point to quick travel in the plaza. Okay, quick travel's finicky. Weird. And what's going on at the? The traffic jam. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll find out about that lady after. Okay. Oh. I think we're supposed to Travel interrogate here. some drivers as well. Is that a task on our list of someone we've met? I think so. Because people are a little jumpy about things we haven't seen yet, no. and I have to selectively just be like, let's not talk about that until we actually come okay. across it. So I'm trying to move on with things we know. All right. All right. Unless we haven't forgot, but if it's the, if it's a task. The jam mystery. The jam mystery. Which one was this? Interrogate the, driver, the drivers. Someone using Terminal B to smuggle around ingredients, drugs, and travel shawl. Joy said there's three drivers at the intersection. Talk to them. One of them must know something about the drug trade. Interrogate the drivers about the smuggling. Yeah, we haven't started this. So this is Monday stuff. Yeah, okay. That's a good teleport. Whoa, that was fast. Minus the finicky standing around part of it. And do we want him for that? Do we not? Probably. If we're starting tomorrow, then. The wind is turning southeast. If we're starting new conversation we'll branches right with new people, etc., etc., like, yeah. just, you know, let the jumpies jump. Right. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, we I was want. Just pointing out, like, things that we have to do. That's all. Suggestion 
is about uh, four, and then we want to get that up. That's not a good. That's not a good roll. Yeah, you're not a hero at all. And we've done all the. We've taken off the minuses of all kinds. Like we've subtracted every disadvantage possible. What can we wear to impress her? Uh, Hold on a second. Must have something for suggestion. Right now, it's not affected by items. Yeah. Let's see. Here minus we go. One. Minus one. Yeah. Minus one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Clothing that affects suggestion. Interesting concept. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Was that all, really? I think we're getting one. We're getting one. <laughs> all right. And then we've got a... we got a point to spend... If need be. Five. Good luck. We're gonna need it. Aye, the sea's gonna calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. Oh, wait. What's in your mind, officer? What if I tell her about my motor carriage? Will that impress her? Yeah, maybe, uh... Oh. That's good to know, I guess. Why is it in the sea? It's an installation. Very conceptual. It is a sign of the carnage to come. The great calling. I wasn't feeling it. It was an accident. I'm sorry. I got drunk and apparently drove it into the sea. An official investigation has been launched by me to determine just that, ma'am. Got wasted. This calls for a funeral, if you ask me. Hmm. <laughs> You're suggesting that we honor the carcass of my former motor carriage? No, that's senseless sentimentality. Inanimate objects don't have souls. I'm actually in the middle of a murder investigation right now. Uh, let's play along. Hi. Feels deserved, don't you think? Falling in the line of duty like that and all? She does care about her boat, so... Don't think they have funerals for motor carriages. What an odd thought. Maybe I should. I don't want a funeral. I hate death. There's <laughs> nothing that says fuck yeah. It's all reluctant, but yeah, let's go with that. Why odd? Our things are part of our life world. They're made with our human sweat, and they share human history. We should care about them as we care about humans. To some extent, at least. Life world? Someone's been reading up on last century Gottwaldian philosophers. Play it cool now. Yeah. Alright, I'm in. But organizing a funeral takes a lot of time and effort, doesn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> you won't even be able to get it out of the water before early June. And where are you going to bury it? Who to invite? What music to play at the wake? Take it from someone who's been through a few funerals. It's easiest to just leave them there and let nature take care of it. It's a pity we don't get to do more frivolous side activities, like rejuvenate the Doom commercial area or... <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Helping the economy. Uh, uh, ultra, well. ultra lib, <laughs> ultra lib casual talk. Just, just little, little polite pleasantries, you know, stimulating the economy. Let's focus on the things we can actually do. All right, that's yeah. Hey, we've done it. I understand. Believe me, I really do. I think about all the frivolous side activities I could be doing every time I go out there with my nets. But daydreaming is a rich man's game. At sea, you can't afford to be careless and dream. Anyway, what are we talking about here again? That's a, that's a rough check. That's a rough check. And what is the first question? That was, uh, we said, we're looking for the husband. Oh, okay. Oh? Yeah, we had that conversation. Yeah, we just lost some time on that. Well, how can I assist you then, officer? I don't know why it was unprompted, though. It happens a lot, though, when you come back. Yeah. Out of conversation. All right. Suggestion five. We got two points to spend on this, if need be. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, yes, she does. You need to get your drink on. 
But there is no other way for human beings to procreate. Not after 6,000 years of yeast cultivation based <laughs> mating rituals. Suggestion? That's a bit weird. Just a little bit. I like you, but I'm afraid to be around you because you're a woman. That's... That's a real thing. <laughs> I want to be close to you, and there's but one way to intimacy. Since the dawn of mankind, Al Ghul has watched over the procreation. Reprocation. Reprocreation, excuse me, of our species. Lay with me. Let's celebrate the Ghul. Alcohol makes closeness possible. Let's connect. <sighs> Heroic failure indeed. We rolled a nine. It would be Alcohol? Connect? I'm not sure I'm following you. It would you. be easier if she was a man. Get hammered with me on a date. Drunk date. It'll be nice. I promise. <laughs> That's a good impression. You really cracked me up, officer. Now, how can I help you? Hey. She doesn't even understand. You asked her out. Perhaps you're too sober to pull it off right now. Oh, that was terrible. Later. Are you suggesting that I get drunk suggestion? <laughs> the litany of the thought of mind. being asked on a date is so surreal. <laughs> like, there's no way. 5,000 to 1 rank outsider. No one saw it coming. The mantle of a game changer demands intangible qualities. Fights are not won. You're thinking instead of doing detective work right now. Fights are made. Blow by blow. Let's take it mic to the Mikey. Some low intensity part of you has entered a sports cliche driven fugue state. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Also, Mike knew what it took to win. He just wanted it more. All physique white checks unlocked. We've got new checks. Alright. Don't know what that means until we see it. If you want to go fail your locked white checks, then you can do that now. It just unlocks pre the, the failed that we've art. Oh, that's not much of a bonus. Yeah, it's not much. Okay. Well, waste of a point, but we got the slot out of it. Um, you want to put Guillaume Le Million or one more door in there? Uh, no, no, I don't want to spend the point on that. All right, suggestion six, maybe, maybe. Suggestion six, huh? Got two points, is that it? Okay. Hi, the sea's gonna calm down soon. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, it's Wind rough. Turning southeast. What's in your mind, officer? Reggie, I think it's been a couple sessions. Oh yeah? But we're calling it in. Oh man. I've held off. I I've held off. I have I not? You have. You've been doing a lot of checks. I've held off. A lot of hard checks. And I've also held off from possibly exposing you as a fraud. Willie. But you knew this day would come. Yes, I knew. I'm, you've been coasting on your past accomplishments for a couple sessions now. Okay. But Reggie, what have you done for me lately? Okay. Let me, let me see what I can do. What have you done for us lately? Oh, God. This is, this is time for legendary actions. Did I ever tell you about that time that I was going to play poker with a friend and I told him I will cut this deck a card and pull out the ace of spades. And I... I ever told you deck. about that time that I stalled for time? Okay, alright. You, you want to... You don't want to put me up? That's fine. Oh, you want to... You, you need to charge that, it that's, up? That's, that's, that's This finger of yours is burning all red? Alright, right, let, let me do that click. Let me just... I need to give it like a nice curve, you know? Get the drink on. It would be unimaginable for a human female to have sex with a man without a hole. Only a human. Gosh. 
only human. Gosh. I didn't have the energy. I didn't feel it. You weren't feeling it. I, weren't, I wasn't feeling it. You weren't feeling oh it. Oh my god. Well. Damn. Hey, hey, hey. Put the fraud detection warnings away. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, that hurts. <sighs> Let's try this one. Yeah, lay with me. No, let's go one and see what she says to that. <laughs> okay. Where is this going? I need to be drunk. You do too. Please get drunk with me on a drunk date. Absurdly and pointedly phrased. She doesn't you laugh. Quite funny, officer. Anyway, what did you want? <laughs> I think Kim isn't here. Oh, that's the bad even one. Understand? You asked her out. Perhaps you're too sober to pull it off right Okay. Now. Try again later. Whew. That is brutal. But not enough to, yeah, not enough to cause morale damage. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a really hard check. I don't know if we can even pull this off. Like, let's be real. We went from, what was it, like 18 to 23%? Or 28% rather? Yeah. Something like that? Like, we got barely 10% improvements out of an entire level of points. That means it's about 10% per point. Yeah. Like maybe later. Ah, later ah. in the game. <laughs> right now, we're not going on any date with any no woman. No good. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's no good. To dump this into seven, while Shivers is, is, is still sitting skinny at six? At six? Horrible. Yeah. All right. We embarrassed ourselves quite thoroughly, but we are nowhere near capable. More than once. Yeah. God, that was rough. Let's talk to uh, EDM lady. EDM lady. Hey, that works. And now. I mean, that's a. That, I'll stand by those failures. Those are. Those are brutal. Hello. Hello again. Oh, do we have to go straight to the guys? Which one was it? Um. The guys inside the tent. For the. No, but wasn't there a, wasn't there something here to get rid of Kim? Oh. Hmm. I thought there was. Maybe I'm mis maybe I'm misremembering. Come on, get in. The warm stuff's getting out. <laughs> the warm stuff's getting out. It smells. Open a window. Open the door. All right. What have we done? Oh All wait, right. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get dressed. <laughs> yeah, gotta look hardcore, Willie. Gotta give him the hardcore. Yeah. Looking good. The large headed youth has closed his eyes, lost in the music. Sensing you, he opens them. Incremental progress! Yeah! yeah. Found this reel of tape. Maybe you could use it to hard up Ike's jam. Oh, we never listened to it. That is true. We never even played it to listen to it. Ah, oh, damn. A hand on his ear. He listens to the audio through his headphones and shouts. Wow! Did you get this from Arno himself? What do you mean? Listen, I'm just going to show oh, it to good. you. Ready? Ready. Yeah. How about that? Lucky you. Hardcore. Yeah! We had the beat for the full 
assault. It would be unbelievably hyper. Wait, you need more? Intriguing. The way I see it, Van Eyck based his remix on some famous original piece, like a folk song, something local. Seems you found an initial part with the main melody. I think it's just happenstance, chaos in action, contingencies of our limited existence. That Eregate's fantastic talent. He nods to his friend behind the turntables. No, this is definitely part of the same song. Something cut from it. It fits too well. Something mysterious is going on here. Hmm, maybe Arno van Eyck lives around here and he just threw a part of the song away because he thought it was shit? Andre's got it. Sounds like a local song remixed. I agree with Nord. It's just luck and Egg has incredible mixing skills. Let's go with one. Hmm? Be how it may, if it fits, it fits. Bring up the volume. Pumps his fists in the air. The Do you have any ideas for that? Andre looks back at you. Yeah, I remember. You said it needs more bass. That's right. You can't just leave it without a bass track. Honestly, nothing springs to my mind right now, but we'll see if I can get back to you with a solution down the line. I think it's good enough the way it is. Adding that medley has already been a massive improvement. It's pretty hardcore now. Let's let's find the base. Yeah. Yo, the warrior! The warrior of dance music! Don't be too hard on yourself if you don't figure it out. I think the jam's already pretty ultra. But it could be hyper, hyper hardcore! Yeah! Arno Van Eyck. Uh, temporary research bonus. Interfacing plus one, 50 minutes. The question won't leave you. Why did the melody line for, from a broken and discarded tape fit perfectly into a song played by some speed freaks in a frozen tent? Can it be a coincidence? Maybe it's the hand of Man Machine himself in his attempt to craft a perfect song. Maybe Egghead is actually Arno Van Eyck in disguise. Egg! Egg! Hmm. Oh. Plus one interfacing for the temporary bonus. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. I don't know what it'll, it'll give us, though. Uh. Alright. And that there's uh, another one of those. Not bad. Alright, I think we might be done. I think uh, that might be the sign of incremental progress. <laughs> yeah. Or should I mean, should I say, ah! Hello again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. What do we want to do? Is there anything else we want to do? Or well, we can just go to bed. Because... At the very least, the other things that we can do right now, we do want Kim for. Okay. Not from here. We could read the ledger. That's true. Oh, that there might true. be some new things that you could uh, make out. Were there any checks with the ledger or... Are these pale driver people even out right now? Would they even be there if we went there this late? Or would they be disappeared? I'm not sure. Hey guys. The Union of Moribund Alcoholics. Okay. Well... Um, let me save it. Uh, I will once again repeat that I don't want to meet new people without Kim cool. right now. So I'm going to read the ledger. Oh, going back to our shack. It's getting late and it's snowing. Time to call it a day. Enter or not yet? If it's someone I've met before who I haven't, who I'm not remembering, it's an investigation thing I also would rather have Kim around for. I'm going to read the ledger. 